like I was planning to like start vlogging earlier today and I'm just like you know it was just one of those nights Zen just kept waking up like she usually wakes up like twice a night but last night I felt I think it was like four times I don't know what's going on with her but now she's taking a nice nap she's been napping for a while so I'm sure she's gonna wake up soon but anyways I need to write down what I want to do today I'm not one of those planners that be like yeah this week I'm gonna do this I kind of just like go with the flow I feel like it as much as I'm stressed about stuff I gotta do I guess I should write it down before but for me I like to take it day by day like I should have done this yesterday but whatever <laughs> it's one of those days that Cruz goes to my mom's house so it helps me out a lot so thank you mom and so just me and Zen right now Darius had to work and all that fun stuff Kenzie's at school so it's just me and Zen and these are the days that I feel like I can get the most stuff done and when I woke up this morning I just like maybe I should finally rest and not do so much but I drank some coffee and I'm good to go <laughs> so I have an order to do for my shop and then I want to take pictures of my new hoodie that I'm gonna post on my shop this weekend so I need to take pictures of that I'll probably just well usually Darius takes all pictures but he's not here so I gotta figure something out maybe I'll just wait till he gets home he's not gonna be out all day anyway let me show you my new hoodie so this is just an updated version of my more than a mama hoodie I had it in pink which I still have like two left which is on sale on my website if you guys like hot pink but this year I want to do something more neutral and so it says mama right here and then in the back it says more than a mama with a nice hood pocket nice and cozy you know so I'm wearing a large I like things a little bit bigger nice and cozy for the winter time and stuff like that so I'm gonna post that definitely this weekend so by the time you're watching this video it's probably already up on my website the not so perfect mom shop.com got a lot of new stuff up there that I posted a couple weeks ago like a breastfeeding top um matching baby onesie breastfed babe i'll put pictures right here so definitely check that out shop small support your girl and then i have some new stuff coming up too as a content creator you know i do this youtube and then i gotta have some reels i need to make so i need to edit them so i'm probably gonna do that today and then right now i'm washing zen's diapers if you haven't watched our last video it's my review on cloth diapering so we're still doing that watch the video the link is down below so yeah we're doing this thing we're still cloth diapering i gotta do that and high five to darius for still doing it like i went out yesterday and darius actually kept up with the cloth diapers i thought he was gonna like put the disposables on because he didn't want to deal with it but he's been doing it because he got used to it so that's good. So yeah, let me go downstairs, check on Zen, send some emails, and let's see where the day takes us. And as you can hear and see, I am pumping as well. I don't know, like this pump is like so loud. I hate pumps, I hate pumping. My freezer stash is getting a little low since I've been going out. I need to pick that back up. I'm gonna just talk to you guys about this breastfeeding journey um, after I'm done because I can't even talk. I'm so distracted by this noise. All right, that's done. Okay, back to my breastfeeding journey and why I'm pumping again. Oh so yeah, my freezer stash is getting low. You know, I've been going out and letting Darius, you know, feed the baby, the kids feed the baby and stuff like that. So it's getting a little low and I'm like, I need to start it back up again. And it's completely different from my journey with Kenzie and Cruz. With Kenzie, I exclusively uh -huh. pumped for six months. So I had an oversupply, so I had a whole bunch of milk. And then with Cruz, I always used the haka in the beginning and, you know, a nurse on one side and had the haka on the other side. And I had like so much milk in the freezer too. 
I had so much in the freezer that my parents still have some of my breast milk from Cruise in their deep freezer and they want to throw away so bad. Obviously it's expired. It's been like three years, <laughs> two years, two to three years. And, um, but I really want to make breast milk lotion and soap with it because you can't use that with the expired milk. So I've been trying to do research on like how to make it and add it to my cart on Amazon, like beeswax, vitamin E and stuff like that. So I'm in the process of doing that and maybe I'll make a video maybe my next day in life i'll actually make it with you guys so my plan is to do the same right now like nurse on one side and pump on the other i can use my haka but you know she's getting a little bit bigger now so i'm scared she's only gonna like kick it off and all the milk is gonna spill and you know the haka collects the letdown and i got a good amount with cruise even right now i probably get like two ounces from the haka but of course with an electric pump that's plugged in get like more suction i get a little bit more so what did i get i got three ounces on my left side and my left side is usually my slacker so my right side always produces a little bit more so i usually get like four ounces i don't do it every session because i don't like pumping <laughs> so i do it maybe like once or twice so probably since it's right here i'll probably do it next time and Pump my right. I don't do it at nighttime. It's probably better if I did it at nighttime because you produce more milk in the middle of the night. But I'm just too tired to do all that. Right? I'm too tired. Yesterday I froze two bags. So I've been freezing it at four ounces because that's around the amount that she drinks right now. And she's um, a little bougie. I went to a wine festival with one of my girlfriends a couple weeks ago and Darius had it all day. So... I was like, well, I have a bunch of this frozen milk. Let me start using it. And I pumped like two fresh bottles of milk. So he had, Darius had like five, six bottles for the whole day. And I was like, okay, like she's good. So she drank the first two bottles. And then when it got to the frozen milk, she didn't want it. She was spitting it out, screaming and all that stuff. So she only had two bottles that whole time I was gone. And so I guess, you know, sometimes frozen milk tastes different and, they sm and it smells different too. I think it's called like lipis or whatever. And I like Googled it to see like, you know, how can I get her to drink it? And it said like to put it in like really, really hot water, not boiling water, but like hot that it can like, I guess it changed the taste back to normal a little bit. So we tried that out the other day. I defrosted another bag of milk and she actually drank it with Darius, so I guess it just needs to be really, really hot slash warm for her. Well, hot to change it back and then, you know, let it cool down a little bit and warm for her to drink and then she drank it that way. So I'm hoping it continues that way because we have a couple trips planned for next year and that requires somebody to watch her for a few days. So, you know, that got me thinking, like, I need to start freezing more milk because I don't want to be, like stressing out mm -hmm. later on if she's gonna be gone if i'm we're gonna be gone for a whole weekend like she needs a good amount of milk i'm just thinking ahead so i don't be so stressed when the day comes oh let me give you guys an update we found some cleaners finally um i shared it in my instagram so if you follow my instagram at ask justine you already know because i was like all for it and so we're scheduling it once a month so i will share more next time they come but we got a deep cleaning last week and it was amazing they were here for like seven and a half hours deep cleaned everything disinfected cleaned the window sills like inside the window like where the the screen is at and everything like that like my sink is shining look brand new my shower looks brand new like it was great they sent like three girls and it was a big help but obviously with three kids it's chaos in here again <laughs> i mean it's just like little things like you know toys and crumbs so you know you have to keep up with that anyway anyways right now i need to finish one of my reels so let's go you gotta be in it oh i gotta put this milk in the fridge first <laughs> so don't spoil it's crazy how things change So it's been a few days later, you know, life. Look at Darius, he's finally in a video. Hi. 
That's what you gotta say. <laughs> no, no ring pop right now. We're on the way to thrift store, a thrift store, to try to get our Halloween costume. Do so you know how most people match with their family? We don't really do that because, that's, you know, the kids are older. They want to be what they want to be. And I'm not gonna force them to be something, you know, cool and hip, and they don't even know who that person is in real life, you know? I know a lot of people do that. Yeah, so Cruz is gonna be a Power Ranger. Kenzie is a cemetery bride, something that we found on Walmart. And Zen is gonna be a cow, which is gonna be DIY. I gotta go and make it, so I'll record that. And then usually me and Darius, we usually match because our friend's birthday is on Halloween, so she always has a birthday party this in the, the Halloween weekend. And that's when we, me and Darius, we dress up and try to get like a couple's costume. So two years ago, we were, two years ago, we were Fresh Prince. So Darius was Will and I was, Hillary and then last year it was literally last minute we said it was gonna be like people from the 70s so we just like picked our hair got some clothes from the thrift store again and then this year it's hard to think of costumes so I brought up the idea of being Oscar and Trudy proud how do you feel about that Darius he doesn't care he doesn't care like clearly I was either that or Martin and Gina, which they're kind of similar anyway. So I was just like, let's do Oscar and Trudy because it'll be easy. Because I already have like some khaki pants. Darius has some blue pants already. So we're just going to the thrift store. I'm trying to find a green blazer. Um, and we don't got a lot of time because Kenzie got out of school. Yeah. So we gotta hurry up. And then even if we don't finish, we could just come back after we pick her up. So whatever. I know there's two thrift stores. This one and the other one. So yeah, we're gonna see how everything turns out. <laughs> I guess that is, that was mad bright. That's what she meant. Or that. Mm, nah. How about mommy to be this? How about mommy to be this? That this, one? What be this one? I need green. That's too green. Cruz found me a shirt that matches perfectly. Now we are looking for, <laughs> seriously? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Superman! Superman! That's Wonder Woman. Oh. We gotta look for suspenders for Daddy now. <laughs> Found the perfect color Oscar tie. But it's hard to find suspenders. There are red ones. We might need to go to a different thrift store. Alright, that was a success. But I didn't like spending that much money. Because, you know, thrift stores, they're coming handy. But sometimes they're pricey. I did not want to spend $21. But whatever. I don't want to go to a whole bunch of different stores. I probably could have got that beige tank top from, like, Walmart for cheaper. But that's the thing we do last minute Halloween costumes. That you're not shopping all around. And I don't feel like going to all these stores just trying to save a couple bucks. So... It's whatever. So we just need to get some suspenders for Darius. And then I think we're pretty much good. I might even wear a wig tomorrow. Or wear, the, wear a wig with the costume. Because I have like a short straight wig. So maybe I can see how it looks. Because I haven't pulled it out in a long time. So I don't have to do my hair. So we'll see. But we got to go get Kenzie from school now. Okay, we are back home now. We went to the other thrift store, but no luck, no luck with suspenders. So I saw online that they have it at Target. So we're just gonna do a Target pickup and get it tomorrow. Cruz, get off of me! Oh my gosh. Anyways, Zen, you playing? Let her hit it, Cruz. Oh, go, Zen. Can't watch you. Can't She's moving. She's hitting it. That's her favorite toy. Zen, of course, is playing with her favorite toy, Love Every. And I spoke about Love Every in a couple of videos, but I had to share that they actually have a line now in Target, which is so, so cool. So it's not like the play kits that I showed in previous videos, but it's actually individual toys, which makes it perfect for like gift giving, especially with the holidays coming up. Because in reality, babies and toddlers, they don't need anything crazy. So I've learned a lot with being a mom of three now. And right now, I realize that um, babies don't really need a lot of flashy toys. You know, all those 
music and all that stuff like they really like simple things and that's why i really love to love every play kits because you know they give toys with you know by the months and stuff like that and you know just this like is keeping her entertained she absolutely loves this play gym with the line at target let me show you guys some of the things i got <laughs> So these are some of the things that they sell at Target. I love that they have the age group that is perfect for. And all the toys are made with baby safe materials, natural rubber, water-based non-toxic finishes. Some of the things I got is this Montessori sensory ball. And it says right here, infant started at 12 weeks. So I'm about to open this now for Zen to play with. So also on each box, on each toy, it has on the side of like why this toy is perfect for this stage. So when it comes with this ball, it says build muscle strength to lay the foundation for growth. Sensory exploration to prepare your baby for different textures. Even comes with a little insert where you can download the digital play guide. So this is really, really great for birthdays. The holidays are coming up. Let's see how this ball looks. This ball is so cute. She's just staring at it. But I can definitely tell when she starts grabbing and starts really teething. Like, I think this is going to be a favorite. Just because how easy it is to hold. And then all the little nubs right here for her to chew on. Definitely got to clean this first though. Yes, I absolutely love their toys. So definitely just go to Target now. Especially like, who's... Like, I go to Target at least once or twice a week. I'm sure many of y'all are doing the same. So definitely check out the toy aisle and look for Love Every. So anyways, we're about to cook dinner now. And tomorrow I'm going to make Zen's Halloween costume, her cow costume. Hey guys, so it is the next day now. This little day is in the life, clearly. But we went to our Halloween party last night. It was so fun and so needed. So we had a little break. Um, not overnight though because we just, well we stayed over at Darius' mom's house and that's where the kids were anyway so it was a lot easier for like middle of the night feeding so like Zen woke up one time and then I get to feed her instead of me like pumping all night and then picking them in the morning. But anyways, this noise, I'm cutting out Zen's costume, the spots for her cow costume. I was going to use felt but I'm like this would just be easier instead of like hot gluing. The felt on the onesie, I'd rather just use the HTV that I have. I had like some black left over anyway, so we're gonna see how it comes out. And I really want to edit my reel, but freaking Final Cut is updating. And I don't know what's going on with my computer. Like, it's just spinning around in a circle. And I wanna make this reel, like the, for our costume, the Proud family. So, yeah, that's annoying. We got some good clips. So I'm trying to, you know, I have a vision of how I want it to flow. Of course, when I'm done, I'm going to put it here. Oh, it's finally done updating. Updating. Yes. It took forever. Just in time. So now this is cutting. I did this reel. And then Darius is out right now. And when he comes home, we're going to carve a pumpkin. I feel good when I'm with you, darling. I can't stay away, stay away. I can't help. So this is the final product, did all this, made the hat, got the hat from Amazon, it was just a white hat, put some spots in them, then I cut these ears out of felt and glue them, the pants, I did like front and back, and then the hat came with some mittens, so I just added some of the dots, the dots, the spots, and I did some on the back, right? So I just finished that and I was sitting at the desk making my reel and the closet door is open in the office and if you guys don't know like Zen's clothes is like everywhere because she doesn't have like her own room so you know I've been paying eventually this will be her room so I've been hanging some stuff in there and then I have like you know the dresser in my room with her clothes so like the special clothes you know the nice stuff that should be hung is hung so I like glance over there and I'm just like Look at this. And I totally forgot she has a freaking cow robe. Like, she literally could have just wore this. And here I am going everywhere, 
ordering stuff online to get a white hat, finding white pants, putting spots, and literally, she could have just worn this robe. All she gonna do is be in her stroller anyway. And it's like literally perfect. And it might be a little chilly, so she could be nice and warm in this. Y'all, I'm so mad at myself. And it's crazy because like, that robe was on my registry. And then my friend got it for, my, for us. And I totally forgot about it. She hasn't even worn it yet. So yeah, she's still gonna wear my DIY costume. And I might bring the robe just in case so she could be nice and cozy if it's really chilly outside. But I'm just kind of upset at myself that I did all this. But it's alright. Good memories. So we are about to go and carve some pumpkins. Guys, this is what I'm gonna do this year. Trick or treat, smell my feet. 